What up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, J-Dub, a.k.a. Black Thanos in the building, baby, here with Big Boy Gaming. Hey, look, man, Madden 19 just dropped. What are we, two days in, and already the trend is the spread offense. The super zones are gone. If you have a weak secondary, you are going to get devoured. I don't know if they're gonna fix this on the first update. I think it's just a little bit, a uh, little bit overpowered, especially being that the game is being played on all pro. So I've been running to the spread everywhere. You stop a guy two times in a row, he comes off four wide, five wide, three wide. His quarterback's back there all day. He's throwing the ball. Seems like everybody's open. You're flipping through the playbook. Don't worry. <laughs> Your boy Black Thanos got you here, man. We're going we're gonna to get you through this one, man. Hey, and don't forget at the end, make sure you guys hang around, man. I'm going to show you actual game footage of this all going down, man, so you can see it in live action, all right? So don't forget to hang on at the end. So what I, what I discovered here, man, is that this game plays like 2017, 2016. So I had to go back, blow off some old footage I had, man, and see what I was doing back then when the passing game was so prevalent. I was putting up 60, 70 a game and also holding my opponents to donuts. So I had to go back, man, and I tried something, and guess what? It works. So here we go, man. I'm going to show you what we're doing first, man. Then I'm going to show you some gameplay footage of it working. And I'm, I'm also going to tell you the do's and don't do's of this formation. So the formation here to stop the spread is 5-2. All right? So what you want to do is you, I've already come in here and kind of changed things up. What I did was I put my best corner here at the uh, front safety position. Reason being is because that guy usually gets drugged into the slot. It doesn't do you any good if you're getting killed in the slot. So leave that guy right there in the slot, Jalen Ramsey, right? You wanna make sure everybody in your secondary is good. AJ Boye, great corner, right? Cody Davis. So Cody Davis is there even though Gibson is better, Cody Davis is there because of one thing, his speed, and he's not a bad safety. You want to make sure you got speed out there because once your opponent gets frustrated, he can't get away from this defense, he's going to try to hit you with the fly routes. Now, I'm not going to guarantee you this play is going to stop every single spread play. But I'll tell you what, if you run this play every time versus the spread, you'll win 85% of the battles, okay? On the outside, DJ Hayden there at corner. Another thing you want to do, here's Miles Jack at uh, the middle linebacker position for his speed. He's also good. You want to try to free him up as much as you can, not have him be the blitz and linebacker. And also right here on the outside, 56, Dante Fowler Jr. For the speed, he can get in there quick. Calais Campbell's there naturally. So the play's out of the 5-2. We're going to run it here. It's the 5-2 pinch. We're going to put, um, we're going to put, we got the Texans here. We're just going to put them in, um, put them in a good spread play here. So we put them in four verticals. First thing I do is pinch my linebackers but here's the key thing Cody Davis cannot be back here you need to have him a step to the inside about there right and then you want to go over here with Miles Jack and you want to bring him over here reason is because you may end up playing the middle with him he's usually gonna be the guy that's on the, the uh, halfback that they're gonna leave in the block and then you can roam the field play the middle um, everybody else is pretty good man I mean if this guy if Miller runs a slant or a drag and I see Griffin bust off a deep post, then, hey, you know, I may give up five yards to Miller. But let's watch this play as it unfolds here. So there's the snap. I come down on Miller. There's the sack. I mean, he, he can't get away. It doesn't matter the play that I pick out of spread. The same thing happens. So here's my pinch. I'm going to try to jump over fast as I can with Cody Davis, bring him a couple steps inside to play the uh, corner route there, or play the post, excuse me. And then I have Jack over here on Miller. Same thing. Snaps the ball, undercut that. He can't get away from it. Now, I'm not the type of guy, man, that'll tell you that, hey, I got these plays with instant heat and it works every time because this play will not work every time. Like I said, 85% of the time will work. It is just enough for you to get your opponent from running the spread, okay? Now, if you do this every single play, they will figure out how to beat it. For the, for the sake of the video, I'm not going to say how to beat it because then it's pointless to me showing you to run it. So let's go here, same thing. Let's spread them out. Let's bring in, um, let's bring in a, um, a back here, right? Let's bring in a back. So here we go. So you want to come up here with your press. Be aware of your coverage. Be aware of who you're playing against. Um, 
We're going to take uh, Ramsey inside. That's a great matchup. I'll take it. AJ Aboyu on Hopkins. That could be a little bit troublesome, honestly. So for the sake of this, I would actually back up, uh, leave AJ Aboyu back just a little bit. And remember, stay there with Miles Jack. They may block the running back, which they will do if you get on their nerves enough. And if they do that, then you control the middle of the field. Watch. You can even blitz. If somehow Deshaun Watson breaks out, you can chase him down. So that linebacker speed is important. So let's watch this play unfold. There's Deshaun Watson undercutting whatever. Same result. Same result. Now let's look at the replay here, man. So running back stays in the block because the blitz is coming. All right. So here's the blitz coming down the middle. Here's it coming from the outside. Watson wants to get away from it. He just he just can't. Now, if you look at the coverage, everything's pretty much covered. I mean, they sent Watkins on a fly. That's why I back Boye up. Because, you know, I, I don't want to give that up there. Cody Davis is fast enough to hang. He's there, right? Then you got Ramsey. This is just a dog matchup here. I mean, you know, I kind of I kind of bumped into him. That's something I, I tend to do. Um, they're not going to throw the flag unless the ball is thrown. So I do cheat a little bit on that with crosses, especially guys that run a lot of crosses. I'll cheat a little bit and make sure I just put a shoulder on them, kind of slow them up a little bit on their route. Now, unfortunately, I put the shoulder on them. That actually freed them up. Uh, Ramsey stopped instantly as soon as I put the shoulder on them. But at the same time, the play's dead, right? So everybody's pretty much covered, man. So we'll, we'll run it again. It's, you know, I mean, and, and hey, it may get beat, like I said, but it'll be rare. So here's your press. And actually, like I said, you want to just kind of watch the Boye over there. That's not really a, a good matchup for him. Kick Ramsey to the inside. This time I won't bump um, and just show you. I mean, Ramsey can handle that matchup on his own. So come on here, same thing. I'll watch Miller. I'll come underneath. Same thing, sack. Can't get away from it. So this time I won't press at all. Um, I'll watch Miller. But I also have to keep an eye. If you don't press, you have to keep an eye on this slot. Especially if you don't have a, 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 a Ramsey. So I'm on this slot here. See, I mean, he got loose from Ramsey. There's a the sack again. So it, even though it works great against the spread, I mean, it works great against a lot of offenses, I, I will be honest with you. But if you run this play every single play, eventually your opponent will figure something out, some little nuance that works against it, and it will destroy what you're doing in the game. So only use this when you feel like you have to. To make your opponent stop doing what he's doing as soon as he stops spreading you out get out of this defense I cannot stress that enough get out of this defense do not overwork it because they will figure out the one little crack in it And it will just the game will be done. They will start abusing this defense. All right, so here So I did I didn't press all right, and here comes Griffin Ramsey stops dead in his tracks, you know, it's on all pro now We put it on all pro because that's what had the heads on so that's why I'm saying I got him under here running under here now what now if Miller would have came out the thing about that, if Miller would have came out, this would have been a sack so fast, I would have still been able to play Miller in the flat and, and not worry about Griffin. All right, so it turns into a sack. The main thing to remember when you do this play is all in your setup. We, we talked about it. You can do other things with it too. I mean, you can get real aggressive with it. You can make sure you got your fastest linebacker here instead of Talvin Smith. Talvin Smith has enough speed, so he's fine actually. But, um, you know, you, you just want that. You want a good corner on the outside. You want a fast guy uh, at safety. So Cody Davis is perfect. I think his speed is like 90 or something of that nature, 92. Jalen Ramsey, who is playing the slot. So this guy will be in the slot. Wherever the front safety is, he will be in the slot 99% of the time. Um, DJ Hayden out there on the outside. He can hold his own. And you're just letting the pressure get there. Um, let's, get, let's get another look. Let me see if I can find... Uh, where they just kind of spread you out four in the back of here. Uh, there we go. So there's a pretty good one, too. Um, we'll even do it out of play action. We'll, we'll test it against the play action. In this play, I'm bringing them up. Um, try to get to Cody Davis as fast as you can here. You want to drag them inside. Uh, Ramsey inside. You really just kind of cheat to the inside on both of those. AJ Aboya, you kind of also want to cheat to the inside, but bring them back a little bit. Um, you know, and we'll run through it. I, I got Miller. If he goes out, I'll cover him. If he stays in, then you know. I'll, I'll do, but here, here, here he goes right here. There we go. I mean, it, I mean, really, it's simple. It, it really brings back user in the middle linebacker. So we'll go, we'll go back and look at that one right here. And like I said, now you can't just do this defense and do nothing. You have to make slight adjustments. So here, I watch Miller. He got the fake. He soon, as soon as I recognized he was staying in, 
I instantly went to play the middle of the field. I mean, even computers fooled. He throws it. There's Jack there. Make the interception. Come on back with the ball. So once again, the defense is 5-2 pinch. That is which one. 5-2 pinch. Works great against the spread. Works great against a lot of defense if you have it set up right. I can tell you, you cannot use a weak defense with this. You just don't have the horses. Um, speed. If you got speed at both safety positions, if you got a decent corner, always put your best corner in the slot because in this Madden, speed does matter. But if you have a good corner, they can cover them post routes, corner routes. So put your best corner in that front safety position. Everybody else use speed everywhere on the field. That outside defense in that's rushing. Uh, that linebacker that's coming down the middle, bringing the heat. And also where your user in. All right. So if you do that, you should have success, man. This is your boy, J-Dub, a.k.a. Black Thanos, man. Dropping a little bit of knowledge on y'all, man. Please don't forget to subscribe, man. This, this stuff takes a lot of time to put these videos together, um, to find this information and bring it to you guys, man. I appreciate you guys that are subscribed, man. I will keep doing things throughout the week, throughout the month, especially when I hit a weekend, get some free time, man. I'll start teaching you guys how to run the ball. The run has been stifled in Madden. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, man. So it's your boy J Dub, aka Black Thanos, man. I holla at you guys, man. We out. Cousins with work to do after the sack as he brings his guys up on a third and long. Black, black. Where's your hot, hot? Working out of the gun. Cousins. And the pressure gets to him again. Long and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Now a second down throw for Cousins. And that one goes incomplete. He's made scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think and for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Miles Jack. And they'll have the ball set up in the red zone. Jacksonville territory now. Here's a first and ten at the 49-yard line. Hey, spread left. Here we go. Here we go. Spread left. Play action. Now it's Bortles. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. A sack and a loss of eight. So an early wake-up call there leads to a quick second and long. Lucy, Lucy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now Bortles throwing on second down. Eluding the pressure right. And his throw's going to be incomplete. The linebacker, Miles Jack, able to knock that one away. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Alive, alive. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Throwing his balls. Escapes the defender. Certainly 11. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Let's go, let's go. On second down, here's Bortles. He's going to wind up and air it out. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by the former first-round pick, D.J. Hayden. And it's a terrific return here as he's going to have him see Bortles now on first down. And here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. Picked off by the former first round pick, D.J. Hayden. And a terrific return as he'll take it up past the 35.